Hey guys, welcome back. So I have this series on my channel that I've been doing for a while where I take recipes from movies, TV shows, and cartoons and I turn them into real life meals. This is probably one of my favorite series that I do because you guys know that I love to cook. So anything that involves me doing something in the kitchen, um, I'm here for, I love it. Today we're gonna be making foods from two different Disney movies and one TV show. The first dish that we're gonna be making is from Tangled. It is the hazelnut soup that Rapunzel asks Mother Gothel to make her for her birthday. I brought back parsnips. I'm going to make hazelnut soup for dinner. Your favorite surprise! Hazelnut soup sounds very interesting. A lot of these ingredients I have never played with before, so you know that I'm very excited about that. In my last video, I cooked a butternut squash for the first time, and now I'm gonna be cooking an acorn squash. So, this is an exciting day for my culinary skills, and I'm, I'm excited. So I hope that you'll join me. I love this series, and I hope that you love it as much as I do. So if you do, please let me know of any suggestions that you have for future videos in the comments down below, and give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you liked the video. But with that being said, let's make some hazelnut soup. Here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using for today's hazelnut soup. We're gonna be using some fresh rosemary, some vegetable broth, onion and garlic, of course, my acorn squash, some raw hazelnuts that I'm gonna toast, chop, and peel, a leek that I've never used before and I'm very excited, kinda of reminds me of a green onion, and some parsnips. <laughs> I've never cooked with parsnips before, I've never even tasted parsnips. So I'm definitely interested to see what flavor comes out of all of this. So the first step is to take our acorn squash and slice it down the middle, de-seed it and put it on a baking sheet in the oven 400 degrees, drizzle it with some olive oil, sea salt, black pepper, and let it roast for 45 minutes. So what's interesting about the leek is that we're actually not gonna be using this dark green part. We're gonna be using the light green and the white which is definitely something that you don't see in cooking a lot. I don't know, it's definitely something that I haven't seen. I'm gonna save this, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'll definitely put this to use some other way. So we're just gonna be using this in the soup. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this, if I'm supposed to chop it up, but that's what I'm gonna do. Now it's time to peel and chop the parsnips. I assume this is more or less like you would do a carrot. So. The recipe actually called for three parsnips, but these are pretty large and I didn't know if I was going to like parsnips. So I wanted to play it safe. Um, so I'm just using two. By the way, I'll leave links to each of the three recipes that I'm following in the description box. So if you guys want to try to make this yourself, uh, feel free to check that out. So these are hazelnuts. What I'm going to have to do right now is basically take the ones that are already peeled and set them aside. Um, because I'm going to have to peel and chop all of these. So it's gonna be a little bit tedious, but nothing I can't handle. At first I thought chopping the hazelnuts were gonna be a very tedious and annoying task, um, but I've actually kind of made a game out of it. You just take one little nut at a time, place it down on the cutting board, smash it with a knife, and move on. It's kind of fun, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, ha. I cannot wait to try this. It smells amazing. So let's see how it tastes. Um, first and foremost, it tastes like a warm hug. I love how nutty it tastes. I love the fresh rosemary. 
I love how creamy it is. In comparison to the butternut squash soup that I made, I think I like this more because it doesn't have so much of like a tanginess to it. It's more warm, nutty, comforting. And I love that it's topped with little bits of chopped hazelnuts because I love like that extra crunch texture to it. This is so good. It's no wonder that it's Rapunzel's favorite soup. Mm. I would say this recipe is a nine out of 10. Very, very good. On to the next recipe. So the next recipe that we're gonna be making is from a show called Bob's Burgers. It's the Baby You Can Chive My Car Burger. It's the burger that Bob made at his dad's restaurant when he was younger. And the fun thing about this show is that there's a burger of the day every day and it's different. So the possibilities are endless. I could totally make another one of these if I wanted to. But with that being said, a lot of the times the burger recipes aren't like your typical basic burger. They have something that is unique about them. And this burger specifically has um, chives and sour cream and little fried pickles on the sides of the burger that make it look like wheels on a car. So it's really fun, really creative. And ever since I saw this episode, I really wanted to try it. I think that Bob's recipes are definitely very interesting and nothing like I've ever tried before. So we're gonna be starting by making the fried pickles. I just picked up this jar of already sliced pickles. And on this plate, I have some flour mixed with some Cajun seasoning. So I'm just gonna take some pickles and dip it in the flour, get it nice and coated. And I'm gonna be making two burgers today, so I'm going to need eight fried pickle pieces. So I just finished frying the pickles. That was actually very easy, but now it's time to move on to the burger itself. So as many of you might know, I don't eat meat anymore. So I'm gonna be using these Beyond Burger Patties. I love these. I've become so accustomed to them that I eat them very often and I like the taste. So I'm using this. That is all. And then I'm gonna to top it with this Follow Your Heart Smoked Gouda Cheese. The recipe actually calls for feta, but it's so hard to find good vegan cheese. And I like this brand, so I wasn't gonna risk getting something that I wasn't familiar with and having it taste awful. So I'm using this. So I season these with some salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. I'm gonna do that to both sides. Now for our sauce, we're gonna add half a cup of sour cream and a tablespoon of mustard. I'm gonna add some minced chives into there. Life hack, get you some kitchen scissors so you don't have to always be using a knife and a cutting board. Dun, da, da, da. I present to you the baby you can chive my car burger. What a what a pleasure it is to be in the midst of, of greatness. This was actually a very simple recipe. So number one, I appreciate that. Um, number two, I think it's so cute and creative and just a little way to spice up a, a simple burger. But let's try it out. I haven't tasted it. Let's start with uh, a pickle. The rundown with me and pickles is that I don't necessarily like them, but I don't hate them. They're, they're okay, you know? So 
that is fine. <laughs> that is fine. I am not mad at that. I also really like how it's crispy. But now for the burger itself. <laughs> and the wheels are stuck to the burger. Here we go. I'm very interested to see how the cheese is going to taste, how the sour cream is going to... Oh, we're losing a wheel. I'm just going to take a bite. I really thought I wasn't going to like the cheese because typically I don't like cheeseburgers. I like hamburgers, but I don't mind this cheese. Um, it actually melted very nicely. And the sauce is incredible. I love it. It kind of reminds me of something that you would eat like at a fancy restaurant. Like they would try to spice up a regular hamburger and uh, put this sauce on it, sell it for $16. Honestly, I think this is another win. I really do. I might lose the cheese though because I'm not really a cheese on burgers type of person. I do wish I had fries on this plate, but that's kind of my bad. I should have made it if I wanted some. But overall, I think I want to rate this like a 7.5. 7.5 out of 10. I like it. So today is a new day and that means we're making our last recipe which is going to be ratatouille from the movie ratatouille ever since i saw this iconic scene of a rat making and plating this beautiful elegant dish for a food critic to try and just having the critic transcend into his child self and remembering how he used to eat this plate and how much of a comfort food it is for him i knew that from like a chef standpoint that i would love to try to make this one day obviously i don't consider myself a professional chef but i love to challenge myself in the kitchen and this recipe definitely seems challenging to say the least although it's mainly a bunch of veggies like sliced into little pieces it, it just seems like it's a very intricate detailed process and it's going to take some time so i'm a little nervous to try this out hopefully i can nail this but i'm also very excited to see what it actually tastes like put myself in the critic's shoes and see if it takes me to another reality so like i said for this recipe you have to thinly slice your vegetables so i had to get a mandolin for this and i think you just wow love that so basically i'm just gonna be doing this for all of the vegetables so enjoy this little time lapse of me using my mandolin i feel so official So I've actually never eaten an eggplant before. I have no idea how it tastes. This is actually a Chinese eggplant, so I'm not sure what the difference is between this one and the really fat one um, besides size. So this will be interesting. So I finished slicing all the vegetables. The zucchini and the squash turned out great. The eggplant is not looking so hot. I I don't know why it looks like this um, and it didn't really shred nicely either, but I'm kind of concerned about the tomatoes. <laughs> some of the slices came out good and then some of them just came out like pure mush. So I'm not going to use those. I'm a little concerned. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but Let's move on to the next step and hopefully in the end this all comes together. So now it's time to work on the sauce that's gonna go on the bottom of the vegetables before we layer them. I went ahead and diced up some red bell pepper, onion, and garlic, and we're gonna saute it in this pan um, for like 10 minutes just to get it nice and soft and then we're gonna blend it. Now we're gonna add a can of crushed tomatoes because I do not have time crush my own tomatoes sorry and a little bit of vegetable broth and some fresh basil we're just going to transfer this into a blender to make it nice and smooth and then our sauce is ready
after what seems like my entire morning gone by, um, the ratatouille is finally done. I've got to say I'm really proud of the way that I played at this. I think it looks really aesthetically pleasing. Um, it looks delicious. I honestly can't imagine this tasting bad. I love squash. I love tomato. Um, zucchini, love it. Tomato sauce, adore it. I'm sure this is gonna be good. Quick side note, I made the executive decision to omit the eggplant because the slices just weren't sliced correctly and they also were starting to brown and it just, I don't know. It didn't, I felt like it wasn't gonna work out. I felt like it wasn't gonna be good. So I just decided to not use them. But here it is, ratatouille. That's good. That's good. Honestly, that's exactly what I thought it would taste like. If you think about it, it's just veggies and tomato sauce. But I kind of do feel like it, it was a little anticlimactic. I put in all this work and effort just for it to taste the way that I thought it would. This doesn't really like blow me out of the water or do anything super special for me. And taking into consideration if I'd ever make this again, honestly, probably not. Unless it was like for my nieces or my nephews or my own child at one point but i i don't think i would do this for me again <laughs> but it was really fun to try so with that being said i think i'd give this like a six out of ten i would have to say that out of all the dishes i made uh yesterday and today i think that the hazelnut soup was probably my favorite i think i could see myself making that regularly whenever i'm craving a certain like fall cozy type of soup but like i said in the beginning of this video this is probably one of my favorite series that i do on my channel so if you have any other food suggestions from movies or tv shows that you'd like me to recreate i would love to hear from you in the comments down below also if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already because i post new videos every single week i'm gonna go finish the rest of my ratatouille but as always i love you guys very much and i will see you on the next one Bye.